Hello, everybody. Yes, we are After School Grandma. We're very happy to be here with you guys. Um, so we're going to do some make em ups and do some make em ups. What we are going to do is we had some lovely, wonderful volunteers in the Jacob Joseph household who are willing to give us some inputs. Jake, do you have an input for us? It is fire truck. Fire truck. Fire Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do an improv set. Everything you're going to see is completely made up on the spot with our input being fire trucks. Thank you for joining us and thank you to, for Highwire for having us. Take care. I don't want to say it, but I'm bored. Shh. No. We are heroes. We are heroes, okay? You're not you're not supposed to talk about how slow and long every day is, okay? Shh. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. But like that's the thing, right? We're heroes, right? Yeah. Like we save lives. Yeah. But we we haven't had a chance to do that in like 4 months. No, I know. I mean, have I saved a life? Have I pulled anyone from anything that was burning? No, okay? No. But like, am I ready to? Did I pass a test to? Uh, yeah. Can I clean a truck like no one else? Yeah. And you know, you saw that Karate Kid movie. Like every time we're out here cleaning this truck, we get stronger. We get stronger the next time we're out there and we do have to pull someone from a burning building. We're gonna be able to pull like 18 people. We're so strong. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, but no, until then, we don't talk about how painful right. every long day is. Right. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I broke rank. I'm I'm gonna be a good representative of the force. Excuse me, excuse me. Um uh well I I hate to just walk up to you guys. I know you guys are doing heroic work over here. I can see it, but my son, my son Frankie. Um, he thinks you guys are just the bomb. He just thinks you guys are just the bomb. And uh, gosh, he, all the time he's at home and I give him a red pen. You know what he's drawn? <laughs> a fire truck. Oh, and wow. I was just wondering, he, is there any- is there you, wanna, any you wanna get up in here? You wanna get up in the truck? <laughs> you wanna get, first of all, how clean is this truck? How clean oh. is this truck? Oh, it's amazingly clean, clean. Ah, but Frankie, you, you wanna get up on it? Yeah, you yeah, get up? yeah, dad. I want, yeah, I wanna get up on the truck, yeah. Okay, oh. we, we actually, we can't, uh, no. we need someone else to supervise. It's, if, a, it's actually a safety hazard. Yeah, if uh, anyone under 10 is going to be in the truck, we, we need someone, we need a manager, uh, our supervisor, or shift supervisor. But I mean. But hey, hey, you want to slide down the pole? Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's always in the movies, right? We could like bring you into the firehouse. You could slide down the pole. Yeah. Oh, Frankie, what do you think of that? I would love that. I would, can I do it now? Yeah. 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 Well, we'll just uh let's just we have to run it through a couple safety checks first. Oh, but then right. totally, you right. can totally do it. We'll get a picture. <laughs> we'll get a picture. You can't post the picture because that's often yeah. also like a safety concern, but like <laughs> you'll feel it. The wind will go through your hair. Just whoosh. excuse me. Frankie, Frankie, um, please please play with your city putty silly putty in the newspaper. Can you just play with your silly putty in the newspaper for a second? <sighs> just don't play with matches, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Firefighters, can I talk to you for a moment? As long as there's no fire, sure. Yeah, we uh, we might get a call any second and have to go be heroes. So. Any second, any second. Uh, well, I, I don't I don't mean to be abrupt. I know I'm not a firefighter. I work as a banker. Ooh, sounds lame. <laughs> sorry. Sounds sorry. boring. <laughs> I mean, it, okay, I deal with distressed properties, but I, I'll be quite frank with you. I feel like you're just doing the bait and switch with my son. He's dying, dying to live the high and octane, high adrenaline life of a firefighter. And you keep mentioning things he can do and then just telling him no. I mean, I don't mean to be rude, but I thought you firefighters were like, drink a beer while you cook some cook some hot wings on the on the barbie. We you know, cook hot wings. Stuff. We cook hot wings. Do you think though that we just walked in from a walk with, with our dad and and asked? to go be heroic firefighters? No, it was so many tests and so much talking and so much practicing. You know, your son, he can't just walk in here and get the same high, all right? Hey, Dad, AJ. 
Tag out, AJ. Listen, firefighters, I, there's no excuse. The kid went missing while you were standing there talking to his father. <laughs> you had the chance to be heroes. The chance was right there and you didn't take it? There was a lot that we were really had to convey to the father, all right? I was really focused on making look how sure. clean, But look how clean this truck is, Chief. I mean, you look see. how clean. I can see myself in it. It's yeah. gorgeous. But the kid's missing. You could have been heroes. I'm the shit supervisor. I... I'll go get him now. No, you don't. Yeah. You don't oh, yeah, we'll get him now. Fire, I don't think. You don't need to put on the fire gear to save a missing kid. Oh, right, right. Oh, my God. Are you rusty? Yes, Chief. That's what we've been saying. We're bored. We haven't had a call in four, four months. months. We can't. We can't go look for this kid. All right. I feel like every minute that goes by, there's definitely going to be a call. We can't leave. I'm gonna have to slide. I'm gonna have to slide down that pole. Who knows if it's safe? Um, Maggie. Hey, Is that straight child over there. Oh. Are are we allowed to intervene as animal control officers or are we strictly only allowed to deal with animals? I feel like in the context of our job, it's only animals, but as human beings, we have a moral obligation to intervene with that child. Do we? <sighs> Damn it, I hate it when you make me think about the social contract, right? Like what do we owe to each other? Uh, so heavy sometimes just being out here catching possums with you, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, seeing a lot of animals being put into cages by our hands is often has me thinking. Me too. Like, who are we to play God, you know, and, and who are we to manipulate with our little puppet strings all of this? And are we not doing that same thing by intervening with that missing child? Tag yeah. out, Jake. Tag out, Jake. So do you want this in a to-go cup or a <laughs> mug? Oh boy. This is like the train, this is like the trolley problem all over again, isn't it? I mean, if I choose one, one innocent person doesn't Tag get the Julia. Coffee. Tag out, Julia. Uh, Ma'am, we're just going to need you to put your uh, your suitcase in the overhead compartment here. Block in the aisle. <laughs> I mean, this is this is a this is a discussion of conscient proportions. This is like, do I owe it to myself as a human, as a woman? Am I reading this through a feminist lens? Oh, the, Betty for Dance. You owe it to <laughs> you owe it to the airline. It's a policy. It's not even a philosophical question. If you don't do it, we'll kick you off the flight. That's a United. Thank God, Hartwell. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Well, uh, excuse me. I need your help. That that rabid dog over there is just threatening all of those people on the playground. Can you do anything to help? Oh boy. Oh, oh. see. Okay. <laughs> I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. If I kill that rabid dog, do I not set and force a chain of motion? Is this not the butterfly effect of my own hand? What to do? Oh my God. Just shoot him with a dart gun or hit him with your baton. One or the other, please. He's foaming at the mouth. Dog, dog, do you consent to be governed? Do you consent to be governed? See. <laughs> Oh, who's a good boy? Oh, don't you <laughs> love dogs? Oh my God, I love them. <laughs> yeah, no, dogs are dogs are great. I don't I don't kiss them on the lips like that, but oh, I know everyone <laughs> has such a problem with it. They're like, oh, is it hygienic? And I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, it's hygienic. This dog is my family. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, uh, I feel like this has already been a fairly memorable first date. Oh uh, my gosh, I know the leaves are falling and uh, you know we saw we saw that that boy get found. He was missing and and now my dog's here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that your dog? Uh, tag out Carrie, tag out Carrie. Uh, Mr. Hartwell, we, we got your test results back and it seems like you do have an infection. Um, <laughs> is there any chance that you've been eating feces? <laughs> oh my God, no, of course uh, not. Uh, maybe, I'm sorry, maybe you have a dog that likes to eat feces or 
liked, you know, you've been making physical contact with someone that likes to be licked by dogs often. <laughs> now that is, that is, I'm, I'm upset, but I have to put my pain aside and go that, say that is good doctoring. Okay. That is uncanny. Doc, oh. I went on a date recently. Excuse me, doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the penicillin for the shit eater? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here you go, doctor. I, it was. I didn't. It was, I wasn't. I didn't eat the shit. I I, <laughs> I'm glad you brought up good doctoring because I don't want to give up on this lead about, or I should say, differential diagnosis about possibly you eating shit. No, 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 no. I was giving you credit because you had figured out something that is kind of mind-boggling. I mm -hmm. went on a first date with uh, with someone who had kissed a dog, and at the end of the date. She leaned in to kiss me, and I kind of leaned away. I was not into Doctor, it. Doctor, uh, pills yeah. for the duty diner. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, time. You know what? Forget the a, a couple questions. Number one, does anyone knock? This is a doctor's office. <laughs> how many how many prescriptions do I get for getting kissed by a dog poop eater? Oh, it's not necessarily just about being kissed by a dog poop eater. It's like we don't really know how much feces you've actually ingested. So was it a pebbly poop or was it something more like a soft log? It was. Uh, doctor, you needed a blood pressure taken? Yeah, yeah. Uh, please put it in is this, the, uh, this is the uh, fart feaster? Yeah, the, yeah, it is. Fart? You know, I got to put my pain aside for a second and say, your crew here does some great alliterative diagnosing. It's actually very clever. Uh, Fart feaster, mm. I did not see that coming. <laughs> okay, well, it seems like, you know, I, I love that you've talked to us about this. It seems like your shit eating fascination has not affected your uh, mental faculties at all. Yeah, because I didn't eat shit. Doctor, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't eat the poo poo. I tag didn't out Jake, tag out Jake. Uh, <laughs> look, uh, this is, I feel like this is breaking all sorts of laws, but um, I do have a friend who works at your doctor's office and she just, she cares about me and she gave me a heads up and she knows what you've been doing. And I just, I feel like we shouldn't see each other anymore. I, <laughs> broke, up with, I broke up with you. You, We were crossing each other on the sidewalk and you pulled me aside. Well, I, I, I feel like all the poop must have gone right to your brain and you're just not remembering things correctly. <laughs> and I... <Bean. laughs> uh, would you guys like the, the tasting menu? Or um, did you want to start with some appetizers? Hmm. Oh. <sighs> Does the tasting menu have appetizers as part of it? Uh, no, it doesn't. It's it's just like little bites of each entree. Um, so how is that different can... than an appetizer? Listen, the thing about us is that we have a really hard time making up our minds. Okay, so you're gonna have to really, really point us in the right direction for whatever will be the best experience. Okay, um, it feels like the tasting menu kind of meets all those needs. It's like little bites of each then, right? Sort of. <laughs> I'm sorry, but before we go any further, like I know you introduced yourself to us as Maggie, but is that mm -hmm. what you really want us to call you or should we be calling you something different? Or is it Margaret? Should we call you by your full name of Margaret? I don't know what would be more respectful. I right. got Maggie. Uh, so it, uh, this really actually shouldn't be that hard a decision. Your grand, oh, excuse me, Julia, your grandmother left you either the choice between either A, this, well, I, the, what we call it in estate, pro, in estate policy is a chest load of money, just a chest load of money, or you can have a um, old timey phone, just an old timey phone. It's, it's, it should, I, I think it's needless to say this is a fairly easy decision. Just can I try the phone, phone again? Can I just try it? I'm just gonna, I just wanna try the phone again, you know, because it's got the spinny thing. And yeah. that's charming. It's just charming. Uh, is um is the paper that the will is written on something that we could take? I, I really could use a scratch paper to write some things down and- Are you literally trying to create a third option between, you have a choice between literally a chest full of money, as we refer to it in a state law, an old timey phone, or literally just some old pa weathered paper documents I have. This should um, be an easy decision. When you're not wearing a red wedding ring, but I don't know if I because you could be seeing someone long term. So what? What would be the? I just don't know what to do because I'm feeling I'm feeling something. 
you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what my wife is saying. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> even know. I can't decide. Hey. Hey, uh, Frankie. <clears throat> Frankie, listen, this is a, it's a monster truck rally. That, yeah, man. Your automobile isn't big enough. What? It's got to be a monster-sized truck. That's why it's called a monster truck rally. It's, it's a Corolla. Okay. You've got a Corolla here. I, okay, my, my Corolla, I've been putting monster energy drinks in my Corolla since I first bought it. It's a monster, okay? You've been in the gas tank? That is straight monster energy. Oh, my God. Actually, that's impressive. How did you get it here? The, the car? I drove it. Holy shit. Okay, I okay, I, I pushed it majority of the way because uh -huh. gasoline and monster energy drink are not they're not the same, but like <laughs> I pushed this uphill. Listen, man, so, we've been yeah. we've been buddies since high school. I vouched for you when you told me you had a, a monster eating monster truck. Yes. I cleared the Sunday afternoon schedule for you, man. I we had a whole <laughs> speech written about how it was the big <laughs> debut of a future monster truck M uh, MVP. Attention, attention all attendees of the monster truck rally. Will whoever put a Ford F-150 into the arena, please move it. It's just sad. <laughs> Was that, did you push a Corolla and an F-150 here? I, okay, look, yes, but... Uh, <laughs> Only because I realized my Corolla was not a truck. So it was filled with monster energy, but I also needed a truck. So together, that's a monster <laughs> truck. That's just simple math. You need a truck and that's not. It's just a, it's a Corolla filled with monster. I did my job. That's a monster truck right there. I don't know what the problem is. I, you know what? It, look, I got I to gotta make this work, okay? My ass is on the line. The fact that you pushed two automobiles here on your own, like- maybe Attention, attention. There's a Volkswagen Beetle just, <laughs> just sitting there by the entrance and the monster trucks can't do their thing and people are getting upset. So whoever brought <laughs> this Volkswagen, get it out. I mean, the odds that this was you too, right? Like it's got, it was you, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. 100% me. I I recently lost my job so I had a lot of free time and I just honestly I'm not I'm not sure why I brought that Volkswagen bug. Like that one. <laughs> Tag out Frankie. Tag out Frankie. Uh Mr. Hartwell, it's glad uh, uh you know, it's kind of one of those weird things. I'm happy to see you but also not happy cuz you know, we got your test results and uh your cortisol levels are really high. It seems like you're really stressed. Uh your liver enzymes are up. You um seem to be losing weight. Uh, are, you, are you stressed out? I am incredibly stressed. Yeah, I, I, I went on a date with this woman who gave me dog poopy mouth. Mm. <laughs> I manage a monster truck rally and I vouched for a friend who didn't have a monster truck but single-handedly pushed three vehicles <laughs> through the venue. <laughs> It sounds like you, you might be frustrated by dealing with too many idiots, or maybe are you the idiot yourself and you're frustrated because you're stupid and can't figure things out, which is a frustrating experience. Doc, at this point, I, I don't even know anymore. I, I, mm -hmm. I, you remember our last visit, right? I try, I pride myself on looking on the bright side of things. Excuse me, doctor. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to interrupt. I have the, the chewable Flintstone chewables, the dumb dummy. All right, <laughs> you can to the patient. Or wait. I don't even need a prescription for those. I could have bought those. The it's Doc. all right. We provided them for you just so you don't have to be confused any longer. You know, I got to right. say that interaction just there kind of answers your, your prior question about who's the dumb dumb, me or the world. You still yeah. don't have a fucking door on your office. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're at a tag out, tag out, Jake. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look who I'm running into. Wow. 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 Are you just following me now around these streets? Look, I, again, this is incredibly unprofessional of my friend, but she continues to tell me about your medical status. And I heard your cortisol levels are through the roof. Okay. And I just want you to understand that if a man pushes three vehicles through the streets of our beautiful town, then 
He is the monster truck. Okay. He is the monster truck. <laughs> you know what? When I saw you coming, I, I was upset. When I heard that dog barking, I thought you were going to go full on French kiss. <laughs> but <laughs> you gave me a great idea. Maybe I could call my buddy Frankie and he could be the monster truck. Is that, can I use that? Can I use your idea? I'm trying to look on the bright side here. Sure. But. One date and taking all my goodness. I'm <laughs> sure. All right. Uh, tag out Carrie. Tag out Carrie. Um, it seems like we got really frustrated at our last appointment. And I, I know you're looking for the silver lining. So, you know, I decided to bring in some examples. So here's a pebbly poop and here's a soft log. Which one is more ap appetible, I mean, uh, appetizing to you? Me? Neither. Is this a, neither, that's just, that's disgusting. Also, those are nurses, have some respect for yourselves. You don't need to be, you, what's the one nurse doing? Is she, is she, is she just, is she juggling poops? What is that nurse doing with the poops? Yeah, yeah. Is that, is that increasing your appetite at all? No, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. This is disgusting. The other it's nurse is doing a poopy puppet show. Eat the vomit? Is that what you want to do? No, I want to vomit. This is disgusting. You want to vomit. Okay. Yes. Is the uh, other the other the third nurse seems to be making a poop pizza dough of sorts. <laughs> this is gross. I, you know what? You know what? It's time for old Mr. Hartwell to wise up. I'm getting a new uh, physician. Thank you. In. <laughs> uh. Han, you're all right in there? Knock, knock. You okay? Hi, Mom. Hi. You're, you, you sure? Go away. Go away. Remember, we have the chart. We have the chart on the wall. So if anything looks weird, just mark it on the chart, okay? I know about the chart, Mom. Okay, you've mentioned the chart. You've mentioned the chart. Okay. All right. Well, your friends are here. They're right here. And I just said she's marking on the chart. So just hi, say hi, guys. Say hi. Say hi. Hey! Oh my God, Miss Shannon, you are so cool. I love yeah. how frank your family hey. is about bodily functions. Stop, stop. <laughs> I mean, being a mom is hard. You have to make your own path. And this is just where we've landed, okay? So, all right, hon, we want to normalize everything that's happening. All right, we don't all know what comes out of our bodies. And sometimes we have to chart it, all right? But we're all here for you. We're all here on the other side of the door. Okay, I... I'm fine, okay? I don't need to chart it, okay? I'm just gonna be another couple minutes, okay? So just- Sure, Do well, you want us to we say like we? positive things? What? Positive things, yeah. Do you want us to like, like give you some moral support? Yeah. Like, I guess if you have to. I'm gonna like, close the okay. door. I'm gonna Can close the door say, now. No, yes, whatever, no, if you want the door open or closed to this bathroom oh. or your heart, I mean, you tell me, you tell me. You can do it. Just you keep pushing. You got this. But not yes. too hard. Not pushing too hard. But push it real oh, good, that. like Salt and Pepper says. Oh, hun, there's a song. <laughs> okay, it's none of your it's none of your business, as also Salt and Pepper would say. None of your business. Oh, I love how musical you kids are. And they were gonna get rid of arts in the schools. How dare they? Okay. Um. Well, right. Mom, Mom, this is you know what. I, I just feel weird about it, okay? I feel weird with my friends from school outside the bathroom, knowing if I'm going number one or number two, they don't need to know that, okay? Julia, there's no shame in your body in any way. I mean, look at Franklin. The other day, he was flat and just, his, his face was just completely smooth, like a, like the top of a hot car. Then he just said to himself, hey, hair, push it, push it. And now look at Franklin. That's how a beard grows. You just tell it to push it, push it real good. Push it real good. See, bodies change, bodies change right before our eyes and we applaud it, literally applaud it. That's, as not, well. how, that's not how puberty works. That's not, that's not how hair grows. Things happen over time, not like because you encourage it with positive thinking. Uh, well, trust me, when you get to my age, you're gonna need a lot of positive thinking. So I would say start now, okay? <laughs> Start now. All right. Anyone else have a body change you want to, you want to applause for? Well, Miss Shannon, I'll go. I'll go. As you guys might remember, last year, last year I was only five one. Then I said to myself, "Hey, 
you know what I want to do? I want to be the captain of the lacrosse team. So I just looked in the mirror and I said, hey, hey, legs, you better get on growing. You better push it. Now I'm walk on starter, walk on starter. What? What? Oh, that is a beautiful story. Huh, and see, if you believe it and you think it, you can make it happen. So we won't even ask what you're thinking about in there, okay? You just think about whatever you need to happen and know that whatever happens, we are literally on the other side. I'm already in here. I'm in the stall waiting for you. Come on. God. You called it. Hey, everyone. Um, Greta... Greta Thunberg is going to be here any minute. Um, climate change activist Greta Thunberg. Shut up! Wow. Yeah, she she's going to be here any minute. Okay, now, yeah, it's a huge deal. She doesn't fly planes. She only does boats because of the whole carbon emissions thing, right? It's a very oh. big deal that she's visiting us today. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Great British baking shows on tonight. You're gonna have to. You're gonna miss it. You're gonna have to miss it, Julia. No, the thing is, they're they're releasing the episodes one week at a time this time, so it's like the anticipation, you know. <gasps> is that streaming on Netflix? Can't you just watch it later? And what what the podcast that I listen to recapping it will be out in the morning. Oh, <laughs> I have to that is that. a spiral. Oh, God. Yeah. I you have to go to McDonald's to tonight. I'm sorry, they're. Uh... They got a two for five deal, so I gotta, I gotta get that. That's every night. That's it. That's not a one night thing. That's a, it's a whole McDonald's promo. Guys, Greta, Greta Thun, Thunberg. I was gonna yeah, start a new together. sleep routine. Sleep hygiene is really important, and if I miss it a day, I'll probably just put it off till like twenty twenty one. It's she four, would it's four p.m. She'll be here at four thirty p.m. Her speech is at five. She'll be done oh. by six. Four thirty? You say four thirty? Yes. Shit. I was going to empty my septic tank into the bay at 4.30. Oh <laughs> and that's our show. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Big, big ups and big thanks to Highwire for having us. Thank Woo! you guys for watch. Uh, keep the fun going and keep watching as the next act comes to the stage. Thanks, guys. We're, Thank we are ASG. Highwire.